Uh, the show for Bottega Veneta Spring 2023. I think I touched upon it a little bit on my comment I made on Twitter, but I thought I'd expand upon it essentially on here. So, if you guys are aware, of course, I've, I made a, a, a podcast or I recorded something about this prior, about the whole shenanigans around Bottega Veneta and the fact that the former designer, former creative director in Daniel Lee was unceremoniously booted from the company or maybe left on his own volition. We're not really too sure how they kind of specified it because of rumors that he was, you know, saying some not so nice racial words behind the scenes. Who knows if that was true? Who knows if there was a power play behind the scenes because no one liked him and they went to get him out there and they threw out some rumor to get him out, whatever. We don't know what the truth is. But either way, Daniel Lee, the guy that kind of made Bottega Veneta somewhat relevant again, um, was the person that was booted. And if you believe the fashion industry, when he was there at Bottega Veneta, he was the one person who was responsible for reviving that entire brand, that entire house, right? He was the one person. And it made, it was really crazy for me personally, because when I saw that first collection under the new director there in um, Matthew, uh, Matteo Blasi, sorry, the first thing that struck me was that it didn't really look that dissimilar to what was happening prior with, with, Dan, with Daniel Lee, even though I think the last two collections of Bottega Veneta, um, I think I've said even myself, I think on stream that I didn't like them at all. I feel they were terrible. The last two or something or three that he did, the one that, the one inside the Berghain, a couple of others, they were really the one in Detroit. They were just like, they weren't good at all, especially when you can think about the first, first Daniel Lee, um, you know, tutelage or under his kind of guidance Bottega Veneta collection that kind of came out and absolutely blew everything out of the water. The one that I think they have the first lug boots featured in and whatnot. I'm actually going to get that put on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There was a clear difference between the quality of that show and then the ones that happened prior. It was just, you know, it was kind of night and day. Or the ones that happened kind of after that, sorry, not prior, after that. They were clearly night and day, right? And I think I'm going to get up on the screen so you guys can see it here. Where is it? What show is it? Oh, there it was. It was um fall twenty nineteen. This is of I think he only started already at pre fall twenty nineteen. But the real debut that everybody remembers that really made some waves that everyone was kind of like, oh shit, Protect Vanet is back on the kind of um is back on the circuit and also. Um, the fact that Daniel Lee kind of rose to prominence off the back of this kind of collection as well speaks to it, right? And as you can see, this is the twenty nineteen four um for 2019 Raceway collection loads of staples in here that i'm sure most of you are familiar with if you're into fashion that you've kind of seen copied from other brands in terms of high street brands other brands and just in general that did really well for Bottega Veneta that kind of just launched this entire brand into the stratosphere absolutely incredible work right like especially this was one of my favorite looks ever to be honest from that era of daniel lee at flipping uh, Bottega Veneta look 10 with these motorcycle leather motorcycle pants this um asymmetrical weird type of knit i don't know if it does a two piece or all together one piece is really cool and then the little detail there with the clip is really nice so loads of great looks in there that i'm sure most of you have kind of seen being replicated and copied by other designers and houses and whatnot so this was the, obviously the first time people really got an idea oh shit man this protective net stuff is serious but as soon as the change was made and mateo blasi was brought in I think I couldn't notice that much of a difference. And I think this resin collection that he just put out is a good example of it. This f t spring 2023 collection, right? I think definitely illustrates the fact that I think in general, this is another illustration of the fashion industry selling us or presenting smoke and mirrors because they made it seem like Daniel Lee was the most important person at Bottega Veneta, that he was the one in, in responsible for bringing that dying um, house back or whatever it may be. And then, he gets fired and then Matthew Bla Matthew Blazy comes in and basically just carries on doing the great work that was already laid the foundations of, right? Or that leader the foundations of. Like it, it didn't really miss a beat since then, which makes me think that maybe Daniel Lee wasn't as big of an important role there. Maybe he was part of a team that together collectively presented an amazing vision of a take of Vanessa, but because of the branding and the kind of positioning and communication that f brands and fashion houses like to do, they had to lionize and put someone on the pulpit or put someone, sorry, on a pedestal and make them seem like the all seeing, all knowing designer. And what better way to do it than to have one person kind of, you know, facing the music, being in front of it. But really the people behind the scenes are the ones that are mainly making the magic or allowing or giving the person that kind of space to kind of, work um in a good way 
and you can clearly see this in the spring 2023 collection because I think this is obviously the second collection that Matthew Blaze has done on his own and it's clearly um, a continuation of all the great work that Daniel Lee kind of laid and also it kind of takes it to another level also. You're seeing a lot of really good stuff in here that I'm a big fan of. And I also like the fact that it's very relaxed, right? This sort of um, presentation, especially when you come out with the first look being a flannel um, what looks like a flannel, looks like a chinos, or looks like a, a, a you know a vest top with a tote bag. You don't get more relaxed and easy going than that. Especially this, you get an oversized shirt tucked into some jeans with some boots and a bag. It's just really classic, um, comfy type of wear. You even got Kate Moss wearing a tartan or a plaid shirt, which is wild. I don't think I've seen ever wear this on a sort of runway. This sort of look, I love this look here again. Number five. Which looks like a pinstripe, I'm assuming. I'm not going to pick because I don't want to waste too much time. But the pinstripe here is good with the oversized white t shirt. Again, with the uh, jeans. I think they look like jeans. They could be leather, they could be suede. Not really too sure when it comes to Matteo Blasi. He has a really cool way of um, manipulating and playing with materials as well and finishes. And yeah, loads of just really cool stuff, interesting stuff that I'm really a big fan of in everything. And again, the casting is, point, is bang on as well. Um, it doesn't. Well, so stuff thing that uh, what's it, Brian Boy say? They're not. Uh, it doesn't feel like they're like. Um, what's that? What, what do you say about Bottega Veneta? What do you say, Brian Boy? Um, he says something about Bottega Veneta. Basically, you know, playing to the crowd in terms of black people. But I think the casting is way more interesting in terms of just looking at with the eye. And I like the fact that they request these side profile pictures of the models walking down the runway okay, it definitely adds another bit of dynamism and intrigue in terms of the overall look so you get to see the silhouette here from the side you get to see how the pants are cut differently especially these ones they look like they've got some sort of um upwards curve towards the back of where the pleat is which looks really interesting the heel it looks like again you've got this really cut, nice curved um stiletto here in the back you've got the little um what you call it whatever they call it, crochet leather thing on the front of the heel. This jack, this outfit too, relaxed, looks really cool. Obviously, it may be a little better without a jacket with the buttons tied, but the fact that this man has on leather pleated trousers with a leather blazer and also a white vest, you know, it's just, you know, the, the opulence of that is absolutely insane. Really is top level. Um, some good stuff on here as well. I'm not sure if that's been 3D. What's that thing? I'm sure I'll do it, right? Where they do these 3D modeling tailored pieces and stuff. I'm not sure that's the one, but that also looks pretty cool. And more stuff here. And again, more quality stuff. But yeah, and again, this leather dress here and look number 25 is absolutely storming as well. So loads of really great stuff on here and I'm a big fan of. But yeah, look at that side profile with the view. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So you can get to see the side of the shoe and the side of the trousers. Maybe all the trousers have that weird. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a thing. I just realized what it is. My bad. It's the pins. Okay, it's the styling pins. I thought it was a cut. It's not. I think it's the styling pins. I think that's what they are of the trousers. They've been taken in a bit because I guess they're all wider. Um, but I guess for the runway, they took them in to make them look this way at the front. Okay, cool. There we go. I thought it was actually the trouser shape. Which might, which not, it's not a bad idea to be fair. That could probably work as well. I'm just, you know, pontificating here like I've actually fucking designed and collection myself. But yeah, look at the, even these prints. That's when you can tell that basically, basically Matteo Blasi did a good job because I think even the last couple of collections, there weren't many cool prints that he was doing. And obviously, Mr. Blasi knows how to do that stuff really, really well. So all this stuff is great. Everything about it is great. I'm a big fan of this particular one that for, um, sorry spring 2023 look especially so collection for particular Veneta ready to wear so definitely check it out if you haven't already checked it out because i'm a big fan of what this man's doing at this house i really am a big fan i cannot lie i cannot lie